Good afternoon, everybody. Rick here with Game Trade Media. Still live, still coming to you from PAX Unplugged. I've got Christopher from Greater Than Games here to talk to us about something that's kind of cool, a little bit of action. Yeah. Very super. Super heroic, in fact. I love it. Uh, we've got the Sentinel Comics role-playing game starter kit, okay. which we did just release here at this show, uh, though we are entirely sold out. There's no more at the show we ran out yesterday. Let's see it real quick. Um, we'll get a, let's get a nice little close-up of that. Yeah. The, that uh, is awesome. The, it comes with, uh, it's, it's, so there's a bit of like a, a cover here, and inside there's a bunch of booklets. Okay. It comes with 13 different booklets, the gameplay guide, which it teaches you how to play. All right. Here, and, I'll get it back to you so we can so get the, it all in there. Uh, so yeah, we've got the gameplay guide that teaches you how to play. It comes with six characters, and each of these booklets are a full uh, comic book character. And um, with them, the, nice. there is a, a single sheet, which is the character sheet. And then there's pages all around that sheet that explain how to do all the different things on there. So you've got all of these larger than this, life characters. This guy right here, Legacy. Yeah, Legacy's your all-American hero. He's strong. He can fly, but he's a team leader. That's his primary uh, okay. job as a superhero. Very cool. um, and so you can play all six of those uh, those characters, and they all work. They're all um, pretty pretty straightforward to do. It's a it's a very fast-paced, uh, lightweight game that is easy to pick up and it's super easy to GM. Okay. Um, that was one of our goals here. Is that there's a lot of barriers to entry uh, as a GM. We feel like in the in, in the role playing world and games are getting way better about that nowadays but even still mm -hmm. GMing is a big responsibility Absolutely. and so we wanted to make a game that, you, that as a GM you could just jump right in and go and have a lot of fun and, uh, and you, you, the storytelling is not just all on you it's also in the hands of the players in a lot of ways so all right. there's a lot of cool stuff there with the uh, with each of the it comes also with the other six booklets are issues where each of these is an issue of a comic book so um, an, an, like an adventure path and that's would... exactly well, they're each they're each individually a single story this is yeah. a whole adventure path with if you notice it says issue one, issue two, but then three, four, and five, I'll say three, four, five on them, because at the end of issue two, the heroes have some tough choices, oh. and they've got to decide what direction they want to go, and so you'll do all three of these issues, but the order you do them is going to make a difference into what happens, oh, okay. and then it all comes back around together for issue six, the big climactic reveal of what's going on with okay. the, who, who the villain is. Um, cool. Each of these issues has a bunch of cool stuff in it. They've got a bunch of story, they've got a bunch of opponents, and they teach you both about what's, the world, what's going on in the world of Sentinel Comics, okay. but also both how to GM and how to play the game. And it, is this like, if I were to sit here and play this right here, this would be like the origin story of your hero team? When the, you think the, about the Freedom Five? So the Freedom Five is actually a hero team that's been around since uh, since 2011 when the first okay. edition of Sentinels of the Multiverse came out. Nice. And so these are characters that people that are familiar with the card game will know, but you don't need to be. They sure. all make sense. These little taglines on the front of the mm -hmm. character sheets tell you really everything you need to know about the characters. And if you've got more questions, the back of the character booklets have a whole okay. story about them. This is, you're already an established hero team. You're doing stuff and you're, you've got, you've got all these, these problems, all these villains you have to deal with. And over the course of the, these six issues, your team is going to to change, not necessarily change people, but all of the individuals are going to change. You're all going to grow as people, and the world of Sentinel Comics is going to change. Nice. So the world of Sentinel Comics, uh, the Sentinel Comics role-playing game, picks up after, well after the end of the uh, the Sentinels and Multiverse card game uh, that we're putting out the, the final expansion to uh, very soon here. Nice. And with the end of the card game, there's a lot of people going, well, what happens next? I said, well, that is over, and this, this. kind of bridges the point from here to the core rule book of the Sentinel Comics role-playing game, which will be out next year. That's awesome. So, yeah. And this is available now at a local retailer? Absolutely. We have Very it. Cool. We just received shipment of this uh, last week. We brought a bunch to the show. We've been sending out to distributors. And uh, so if, if you if it's not at your local store, uh, feel free to, to ask them when they're getting it in because right. they should be able to get it from distribution. Very cool. Now, when, when this is all being said and done, can you build your own character in the starter pack? No, in the starter pack? No. Okay. The starter pack comes with these six heroes, okay. and it comes with these six adventures. Just to and give it, you the flavor. Okay. It, it, it okay. teaches you how to play the game, yeah. teaches you how to jam the game, and it gives you a lot of tools on how to do things with that. Okay, um, however, the rule book that comes out, you definitely, you not only you not only can build your own characters, we highly encourage it. Okay. So sure, if you love the world of Sentinel, uh, Sentinels of the Multiverse, you love the world of Sentinel Comics, yes, you can play those characters. Right. But this game is about new heroes, and in fact, that's kind of what this story is about. When you play nice. this story, it's like, hey, we're all heroes, but there's so much going on, we need more heroes. And so the uh, one of the things that I really stress in the writing that I've done on the Sentinel uh, Comics role-playing game core rulebook is that the canon of Sentinel Comics is the canon you play at your table. 
It's oh, not, wow. you don't need to worry about like, these are the characters are the important ones and you make your own characters. No, no, your characters are the main characters of Central Comics. And the stories that you're playing are real stories of Central Comics. Not just like, well, but Christopher writes is canonical and everything else is extra. Not true. This is wow. all part of the Central Comics. And so, with that in mind, like your characters you make, these characters here have all been built using the exact same character creation process that will be revealed in the core rulebook. Okay. So it's not like any characters you make, they're the same power level, there's not like these weird power dynamics. Everybody's a hero. You're all working together to save the world, to save Central Comics, uh, to defeat the villains, and uh, to be a hero. That's you know? awesome. So. And, and that's one of the great things about role playing is you can take a, a, a little step away from reality. Yeah. Step into the into the skin, if you will, of right. the end of, a, of a, someone that you would you you could identify with, like myself. Not you. Your legacy. Like legacy. This all American hero. I mean, you're pretty much the same guy. But if I didn't want to do this one, I could easily say, you know what? Bunker. Yeah. And maybe I could play Bunker. Sure. And have a good time with that. Sure. I so, mean, for me, personally, I'd have to go with Tachyon. Tachyon is, is, is too fast for me. She's super speed scientist. She <laughs> thinks even faster than she runs. And like, that's that's my jam. Always on, this, on, the, always on the go. Tachyon, for all of you that did not know, Tachyon was in a gatefold um, inside the uh, Game Trade magazine a couple issues ago. Yeah. Uh, so you can also, if you pick that up, you may have already gotten a little flavor of what this is, what's to come in this. Yeah. So it's super cool stuff. This is... I'm a huge fan of superhero stuff anyways cool. as a comic book guy. I yeah, mean, I yeah. got a whole sleeve of I comic say, I book really heroes like here. Sleeve here. So it's like, this speaks to me, and it speaks to me because there isn't really a superhero RPG out there. There used to be many, many years ago. There, there's, there's, a, there's, there's been many. Um, but so, nothing like this. Sure. I will say right now, the game uh, Masks is phenomenal. And that is a game that's out in the store there right now. Right. Um, and that is a certain way of telling a superhero story. I love that game. This game is a different kind of way. It's a, it's a, it's a collaborative storytelling thing. Um, and this is about kind of over the top, larger than life action. The reason that I made this game is the same reason that I made the Sentinels of the Multiverse uh, card game back in 2011, is that I wanted to play a game like this. Right. I'd played a lot of different games and I'd found a lot of fun experiences, but I wanted something that made me feel like a hero, made me feel like a team, a hero in a team of heroes that we couldn't possibly take on the villain without all working together. Right. And this is the same situation where it's like, I really wanted to play this game and uh, and we're really proud of what we come up with. Here. It, it looks amazing. Chris. Thank you, thank you. It's, it's amazing. All right, everybody, if you want to pick it up, go to your local retailer. If they don't have it on their shelf, tell them to go ahead and order it from their distributor. Alliance, and you'll be one. good to go. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, Chris. We appreciate it. Appreciate now, it. just uh, as we always are going to say, thank you very much to Carolina Game Tables for the uh, use of their streamer table all weekend here at Pax and Plug. Go to their uh, Facebook page and website, carolinagametables.com, to get lots more information. And also check out our prize pack that we're giving away this weekend. Uh, it'll be the you know, winner will be announced on Wednesday, so there's a few days after the show. So you can, if you grab one of these cards here at the show, we we'll make sure you got enough time when you go home, go through all your swag find it uh, and enter all your entry points that you can so you can be potentially the winner of this giant swag bag. On that note, we'll be back real soon. I'm Rick with Game Trade Media. Lots more content coming. Don't forget to subscribe to Game Trade Media. Leave a like and comment on what videos you'd like to see next.